hopefully I can see that. It's cold. It's cold. Uh, sure, there's probably a couple jokes in there about blowing hot air, just blowing in general, but either way. Y'all are watching it, so y'all are the real freaks. But anyways, uh, good morning, everybody. As y'all tell, it's cold, frost everywhere. I think it's going to be another little dry day. Hopefully the wind don't pick up too much. When it's supposed to rain till Thursday, so... That's up. Anyways. Here's some geese over there. Sorry, I got a dog mind, y'all. Anyways. Uh, ain't supposed to rain till uh, Thursday, so hopefully the, rain, hopefully the hunting will pick up then. Hopefully I'll be hunting that day. We ain't got many deer left. There's like 24 deer left to cut, so... Yeah. I have to cut this seed and hopefully knock out about four of them, and then cut real hard tomorrow, and then... You get the idea. But anyways, um, we're going to go down here. Y'all see me? I mean, y'all see the kayak. Obviously, we're fixing to jump out. and Y'all seen me do this hunt before, but let's just say we're going to go down the dike. We're going to go down the dike. That's a very awkward thing to say. Between blowing and dikes, that's a, yeah. Yeah, steamy situation. Anyways. <laughs> It's getting creepier by the moment. Anyhow, um, I'd like to take this moment. What's up? So anyways, I'd like to take this moment. There's a, a new channel I've recently discovered. It's called Mountains and More, and it's more like the last name, M-O-O-R-E. And uh, I guess what's significant about it is that our local guys are all from up on the mountain where I grew up at. And... One of them's my old ag teacher, and the other ones are his old students. I guess still currently students. You never stop learning. And Mr. Poe seldom stops talking. But either way, it's another story another time. But if y'all would like to head on over there, Mr. Poe was just a wealth of knowledge, and <clears throat> he was a massive inspiration going to school. We got to do stuff in class most people wouldn't do. We cleaned possums, tanned hides, made little fleshing boards, learn how to make light i mean candles i mean you you name it i plus all the woodworking stuff and just raising all them tilapia i mean it's it's, it's amazing and that ain't scratching a bucket compared to everything we've done but i learned i learned a lot off him and i think i mean you can retire from teaching like what what 20 years he done it for like 30 something so he was dedicated he loved what he done he's obviously a teacher in profession and a teacher in his heart and he, he was good motivation, so. But anyways, he's on there. I'm pretty sure a lot of other good dudes are on there. They go kayaking, canoeing, hiking all over the place. And they do like a little podcast. And if y'all want to see just how interesting these guys are, just head on over there. Let them know I sent you. That's Mountains and More, like the last name. And also, when you're at there, when you're at it, give them hey. Say, hey, y'all need to do a video of Longbow. You know, tell them that. You know, send them. I'm sending y'all some stuff. Y'all send me some stuff back. But either way, waiting on my buddy to show up right now. If he's late, this will be the first time he's ever been late. I ain't going to lie to you. Kind of interesting. But either way, we ain't going to hold that against him too much. Well, either way, that's enough of me talking. Let's get on with it. They jumped him now. <laughs> Uh, took them about 10 minutes to find him, but uh, they cold tracked him and they got him now. Burn him up. <laughs> Y'all, this is awesome. <laughs> Oh, you done much, you gonna run this up.
Hi, puppy. Come in. Come here. Oh, look at you. Now they're bringing that rabbit back. I said, this should get up there, old doe. There you go. Now they're bringing that rabbit back, okay? And I can't have you walking around because you're going to spook him off. Now this is quite obvious. Hey, look. Look at me. Now this is quite obviously a swamp rabbit. They've run him like 450 yards that way, and he's coming back right now. So I need you to shut up and not make no racket, okay? Can you do that? Can you set up here? Hmm? Can you do that? Okay, shh, shh, shh. Quiet. Hush up. Hush up. Okay. You got it. Okay. Now be quiet. Easy. Impossible. Impossible. That dog just jumped a woodcock. <sighs> That's a jump. They just jumped in. There we go. That's the shot right there. Yes. <laughs> well, hope he got him. He may not have. That's a good little race though. That is the same one. They've run him about a circle and a third. Well, come on, old mud. Come on. It's just a little water. <laughs> well, it looks like somebody has vandalized my kayak here. <laughs> Man, what a race, huh? Oh, what we get him? Hey, bag, bag, bag. I believe that's a buck. Man, what a race. Hey, what's your story? <laughs> oh, they hmm? circled that swamp. Yeah, from what I could tell on GPS, they had to cut across that field and go another stretch of woods and come back, didn't they? They went around the edge of the field. Okay, it makes because I know you've seen that little loop or whatever. I had the little blue pup running all around me. It was no way I was going to kill nothing, you know. And no joke, I got it on film if you got to question it later. That little, uh, I guess that little liver dog, chocolate dog, whatever. She was out there running woodcocks. Like, no joke. Like, she comes through there, eh, eh. you know, she's always, she's kind of by herself half the time. Well, she come out there. Did you ever see a woodcock come by you? She comes through there, and whew, took up my... Like, Son of a gun, and she's over smelling all over where it just been. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> she might have some bird dog. What do you think? They jumped that rabbit right in here and they done 400 yards down again. 
It's gonna be a great day, everybody. I mean, a great day. All right, I'm right here. They run him way up, made a circle, run him way out, made a trick, and now they're coming back. So let's get ready. He hooked right. So he went up, went over, and started coming back, and now he's, now he's going that way. He should make a wide circle, and hopefully he'll come right back here. What you think, old man? Things starting to get too dry. Think it's what's going on. Yeah, don't blame me. Uh, I mean, it's kind of need a little more strong the ground, not a crap ton, though. No. Huh. Well, I guess we better go chase some moisture there. <clears throat> See if we can find us another spot. <laughs> Hey, old singer. Old beaver's been rough in here, ain't they? Chewed all kind of stuff down. That's fresh, fresh too. You still see all the sap coming out of it. Good dog, good dog, dead, 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 hey, dead, good dogs, good smoke, hey, 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 smoke, hey, old dog, yeah. hey, good babies, good babies, hey, 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 good dogs, good dogs, yeah, good dogs. <laughs> Man, what a shot. Whew. Heck, I rolled him at first time, but... Whew. I had to give him so much dang lead, it wasn't even funny. <laughs> oh! Man, that's a long shot right there. Did you see that? Good Lord, I had to give him like five foot of lead and I shot and he rolled like a few more feet there and he tried to get up and go and I slowed him down a bit more and that last shot he was crawling. I, I peppered him good on that one. <laughs> almost, almost hitting the ground. Look at that. Heck yeah. What'd we get anyhow? <laughs> I think you're right. Still I can't believe that happened like it. <laughs> he, he, I thought he was going right and he hooked back left. And he's already been through here once. I've just hunted in the past and I know they got all that cover. You know what I'm saying? You know, he, he heard what he done. He went up there, circled back around, he come out again and he didn't make it. I went to this. Point here. Yeah. I thought he might have went over here. I thought he might have circled down. But then he came back. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy how he done that though, ain't it? Yeah. So what would that be? It'd be like a right, left, and a little loop, like what? Well, a backwards nine, basically, with a crooked tail. <laughs> well, hey. Huh. Huh. 
I don't know either, so don't ask. <laughs> uh, that's some. It is. Especially when people at YouTube, all they're going to know is this Mises and Hurtis baby doll with a leg pecker and bloody hands. That's a, that's a freaky sight. spot with the water this low I can get in places I couldn't normally get and there's a rabbit sign everywhere <clears throat> I don't know if the video recorded it but they jumped him over there and they took him to that ridge and now they got him in all that thick stuff out there he's just going right so hopefully he'll hook over in his wood line and come on back but uh stay tuned <laughs> And my buddy just shot way over there. Way over there. And I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if I don't know if he shot at this rabbit or what. You think he's the same one? I need the good lord. That's a head dragon. <laughs> It may be, he went out there and made about three loops in one spot. Mm -hmm. I think he lost him. He made, he come right over here and then went out and made loops. I think he lost him and then he came back. Mm -hmm. Well, I see a front leg bus. Was he pretty close to you? Yeah, he's about 20 yards maybe. Ah, oh, it ain't too bad. Just come loping down the edge. <laughs> it's crazy when they get enough distance between them. The dogs like, I got him. I'm just gonna prance a lot of wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you get a when you get a head dragger, man, that's like killing a ten point buck. You wanna mount that one? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <son. laughs> <laughs> That's a little safer than it looks right there, let me tell you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not as epic as I'd have wanted, but oh well. Anyways, that concludes that. Uh, so we end up getting three rabbits. Uh, one of them got away from us. He just pulled a good trick and some really thick stuff, so kudos to him. But as they say on all them rabbit hunter pages or whatever, a four up, three down, so I'll, I'll take it. Uh, I know it's a little bit jumbling there, but... Uh, still had a really good time and if that was the same rabbit they were running that he killed on the other side and it probably was that was a slick old rabbit and the first rabbit we got um that rabbit right there man that that spot we killed him out of everybody and their brother hunts to death so that that's awesome i mean that it's most people just drive up to it walk 100 yards and run their dogs there and hunt it so you, we slipped in a spot that's been hunted to death and got a rabbit out of it. That's, that always, that just makes you feel a little better on the inside. It really does. But anyways, it ain't, I ain't trying to brag on my dogs. But I mean, I've, I usually can slip in a spot most people hunted to death and at least get one out of there. But I know you don't never need to brag on your dogs. And the moment you do, they'll make you look stupid. As you always remember that, it is unwise to use the words always and never around your dogs that's they'll uh they'll break that rule every time i'm telling you but you know a lot of hard work goes into them and it, i guess it's showing off a touch but anyways i guess y'all are tired of hearing me fake brag on my dogs uh 
We had a good time. Hope y'all enjoyed that adventure. And sure enough, go check out uh, Mountains and Mower. Mower like the last name, Mower, M-O-O-R-E. And, uh, and bully him a little bit. Say, hey, Longbow sent me and y'all need to make a video with him. Dang it. But either way, y'all have a nice day.